Alright you guys, welcome back to Russell Family Reactions. We're here tonight to check out some more epic and incredible music with y'all. The artist that we have on deck for tonight is an artist. The artist we have on deck for tonight is an artist that we have reacted to on several different occasions. And we're going to get back to his music tonight. Can't wait to check this one out because it was uh, requested heavily in the comments from the last video that I re uh, reacted to. Which is for the same song, but uh, you guys told me that you wanted me to check out the Jeff Satter Why Don't You Stay World Tour version, the official video. So that's what we're here to check out tonight. Uh, so without any further ado, you guys, we're not going to beat around the bush. We're going to get right into the music for this worldwide premiere. If I can get it to go into full screen, guys. Sorry about that. For this worldwide premiere from Jeff Satter, Why Don't You Stay? This is the world tour version. Let's get it. I really like the piano intro. All this time I sing, drowning like a stone, trying to close my eyes, shut my ears on this throne. Look, I know we're only 28 seconds in, and I know I've heard this song before. I'm gonna back it up. One, because like I said, I love the the I love the piano intro. I think it's uh, very classical, and I think a piano. Even in rock music or pop music, any any other genre, when you add it in there, it gives it an extra element um, of just awesomeness to anything that it's it's featured in. Um, it just highlights the track even more to me, for for me at least. Uh, some people might disagree. That's that's perfectly fine. That we, we all have our own, our own opinions on things, but I love the piano. It's a, it's a soft touch. I love it. It's very. Um, it sets a mood really quickly and dude, his voice is just so amazing to me. Um, when he sings, he has this soft subtlety in his voice that just is so reassuring. And it's like, he's giving you a hug with his voice when he sings. That's what it feels like to me. Um, he ha it's just an amazing quality to his vocal, um, that not very many people have. Uh, you know, it's really unique. Um, there's other artists that I've listened to that have similar qualities qualities, uh, in, in their voice like he does, um, but his is different. And it's different in a, in a, in a really unique way. Um, it's like it's his fi fingerprint. It's like it's his signature uh, for his vocal. Um, and it's amazing. I love that. Um, just really beautiful singer, man. I, his voice just... It's really encapsulating, man. It is very, it has an ethereal quality, man. It's really kind of hypnotizing also in a way. And it's, it's just amazing, man. It really is. But let's get back into the music. All this time I sink, drowning like a stone, trying wow. to close my eyes, shut my ears on this throne. Mm. about his voice too that um when he does those vocal trail offs right there uh when he just kind of lets his voice kind of he hits the high note and then he lets it trail off that that back end where it's like just trailing off and 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 breaking away at the end right there and he does that that is really unique it's very beautiful the way his voice does it too it really uh, sets a tone, like I said, that really unique fingerprint or vocal signature from him. It sounds incredible. Um, it's really, really, like I said, really beautiful, man. And not a lot of people can do that. 
um, they can do something similar to it, but it doesn't have that same crack. Um, and it's not really a crack on his part, part because it's not that his voice is cracking. It's an effect that his voice does when he sings like that. It's absolutely amazing. Um, some of those uh, artists pick up on our, our beautiful mistakes, our accidents, and, and the training process. This might have been one of those for him, but it's absolutely beautiful. I love hearing it. And uh, we're going to back it up a little ways and get right back into the music, guys. That trailer, oh my God, it's so beautiful. disrespect him in any way man he he's an amazing artist with incredible vocals and almost uh as incredible vo um um lyrics as well the that's what i wanted to stop for a minute and talk about the lyrics of the song are incredibly beautiful man they're really touching and moving um you can just feel them you know what i mean it, it's not like it's something that he's just singing about it's something that he's singing about that probably happened to him um, because you can look at him the way he's playing, the way he's singing, and it's something that he has emotionally felt. Uh, you can just feel it. You can feel it the way he sings, and you can you can see it in the facial expressions that he's giving you, the emotions um, that he sings with. Um, it's just, it's incredibly powerful, man. It really, it really is. Um, and he delivers it like nobody I've ever seen before, man. He's absolutely amazing at all aspects of this. And it's why he's one of my favorite artists that I'm reacting to right now, man. I love artists that are able to tap into the emotional side of songs and really convey the lyrics of what they've written. You know what I mean? The the story that they're trying to tell. I want it to be impactful and heartwarming and, and just have all these emotions attached to it. But I want to feel them. I want to feel them from the artist. I don't want the artist to just sing to me. Anybody can just sing to you, but I want to feel the emotion, uh, emotional weight of the song and the way that they sing. And he does that perfectly. With all that being said, guys, um, let's let's get back into the music. Can't wait to see um, how he ends this one out. But th this is absolutely beautiful. Thank you guys so much uh, for requesting this version of the song. Uh, it really is beautiful and amazing. So thank you.
when I when I was telling y'all earlier about the emotion, singing with the emotion. Look at his face when he sings when he really just starts getting into these verses right here, and then the into the chorus and just really starts singing. Look at the face. Look at his facial expression. Tell me that ain't a face of somebody that has felt the emotions, these lyrics, has felt them at some point in their life and is singing through their heart, singing their guts out to you uh, about an experience that they've had. And it's therapeutic for them, man. It really is for them to be able to get these emotions out that they've tried to tuck in and bury deep inside to be able to write a song about it and to get that emotion out there is very therapeutic. It, it helps so much with these artists. Um, but but anyway, just look at his face. I backed it up a good ways. I think I've got it right where I'm wanting it to be at. Just look at how he emotes when he's singing. And you'll see exactly what we're talking about. That was incredible. That was, <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I, I've listened to both. I've listened to the MV and this official MV, uh, our live version from the world tour. I think this one's probably better to me. Um, it, it's, you can really feel his emotion in this one. You can feel it in the other one too. Um, but you can, just like I was saying, I want to backed up there at the end. And you could see that raw, unfiltered emotion that he was expressing when he was singing there, there at the last part, just getting that last push out. Man, that, that was amazing. That was incredible, guys. Um, but like I said, thank you so much, you guys, for checking this one out with us tonight. Once again, that was Jeff Satter with Why Don't You Stay? And that was from the World Tour version that you guys requested heavily in the comments for the last video. Thank you so much for requesting. It was absolutely amazing. And I'm glad I checked that one out with you guys. But with all that being said, um, that's going to do it for this one tonight, you guys. And as always, we'll catch you on the flip side.